The last video in the playlist showed that the assignment statement is a way of assigning a value to a variable. The simplest form of an assignment statement is shown below, where a variable is assigned an expression. This symbol signifies the assignment of the value of the right hand side to the variable on the left hand side and the arrow is pointing to the simple assignment operator. Python has a number of assignment operators. We have just seen the use of the simple assignment operator used in an assignment statement a moment ago and we also showed this in more detail in the previous video. Python assignment operators are listed below and we can see that they go from the top to the bottom whereas the top one is the simple assignment operator and now we're going to be having a look at this one here which is referred to as the add and assign assignment operator. Before looking at the add and assign operator let's quickly look at this program here. Here you can see that I've got five program statements when I run this program, we will have the following output. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through each line at a time. So here you can see I've got X is assigned 1. And there you can see the variable being created and it being loaded with the value of 1. Now the next line, well we're going to see that is Y is assigned 2. And we'll see the creation of the variable Y. And that will have 2 stored in it. As you can see here, there's the selection of the statement and there's Y with 2 being loaded into it. Now, of course, I'm interested in this particular case only in what happens to X. So I want to have a look at what X is now by printing it to the screen, which means that I will perform this statement here, print X. And of course, if I look at the output, that will have produced the 1 here. The next program statement is shown here. Now, this is X is assigned x plus y. So whatever is stored in x is going to be added to whatever is stored in y with the result being stored in x. So we have to think about what is actually happening here in terms of the hardware. Well we're going to be using the arithmetic and logic unit. Now the content of x and y are going to be transferred to the input of this arithmetic and logic unit as we can see here. Now because the operation is to add, what will now happen at the output is the 3 will appear and that 3 will go and replace what was previously stored in X. So we can see that X is now 2 bigger because it had the contents of Y added to it. So it's as if we've incremented X by the content of Y. Now of course what we now need to look at is the next statement which is print x and of course what this will do it will display on the screen what is stored in x and we can see that is achieved there. Let's now consider the add and assign operator which we can see is shown here which is the plus and the assign symbols. Now to do this we're going to have a look at the program we've just considered but one of the program statements has been changed. Here's our program and the changes occurred here. This x plus assign y replaces x is assigned x plus y. Now to see what happens when we run this program, we can look at this particular output here. And if you remember a moment ago, the output was a 1 and a 3 for the previous program. Now that's no change. You can see the output still is 1 and a 3. Now let's have a look at why this is the case. So here we can see x is being assigned 1. The next program statement here, well we can see that y is being assigned 2. Then what we'll do, we'll print x out and consequently if we look at the output we can see there's a 1 in that position. Now here we come to this cryptic looking add and assign operator. Now I'm going to show you what this one actually does by referring to again the arithmetic and logic unit. So the arithmetic and logic unit will be used and the following will occur. The 1 and the 2 are copied to the input of the arithmetic and logic unit. The output 
of this is going to be their addition and then we assign and we assign to x and if you think about what happened previously exactly the same you see this is adding and then assigning and that's what the sequence has just shown an addition followed by an assign because the output from the ALU was the addition and then we stored it in x which is the assign consequently when we now have a look at this print x here it should show the output of 3 which it quite clearly does therefore x add assign y is equivalent to x assign x plus y and the way to read this is as follows x is added to y and the result is assigned to x Therefore, x plus assign 1 is equivalent to x assign x plus 1. So, x plus assign 1 can be used to increment x by 1. Looking at some other examples, we can see that this one here, x plus assign 2, can be used to increment x by 2. x plus assign 16 can be used to increment x by 16. So we can see that these here are the various assign operators. Now we've looked at the first two. We looked at this one mainly in the last video and we've concentrated on this one in the current video. Now in the next video in the series we're going to have a look at this one here. Now the remaining four assignment operators we'll look at as and when later in the playlist.